Hey everyone, this is your Market in Minutes report. January 8th through the 12th, so we're looking back on last week, the second week into the new year. Having a bit of a cold snap here. Uh, if you guys are in my neck of the woods, the Houston kind of metro area, uh, we're getting some pretty hard, hard freezes here. So we're open for business, but hunker down. I uh, hope you guys are staying warm, so let's jump right into it. So last week on Wall Street, so it was a nice turnaround from the first week, which saw all the major indices down, unfortunately, in the first week. Now we had a nice turnaround. They were all up. Uh, Russell 2000 was uh, flat, essentially, so small caps. We'll talk about that. Dow up, S&P up 2%, NASDAQ up 3%, so big week for those indices. And foreign stocks were up uh, just a smidge as well. So uh, where does that leave us here to date? So... Uh, nice to see the broad market S&P is up uh, positive territory now. That's good to see. All the other indices uh, still down. Two weeks into the year, not much to read into that at all. Uh, small caps notably down quite a bit. This is the story here is basically such a run up from last uh, quarter. These were the top one of the top performing asset classes. They just screamed higher for the fourth quarter, and it's not unusual to see. Uh, a little bit of a pullback there. Uh, not to take away from the fact that it was just absolutely phenomenal in the fourth quarter. So uh, rates, uh, they came down. They, they had initially kind of shot up for a bit, which affected the markets in the, uh, the first week. Uh, and now they're coming down. So you can see four, 3.9, four on the two year, and then the 30 year uh, mortgage. This is good to see for the housing market for sure. This They had they had bumped around 8% at one point. Uh, now they're closer to seven. So that's a huge drop uh, in mortgage rates and that's, that's good for the economy overall. So good to see there. Uh, stocks rock and roll. So uh, what I mean by that primarily is it was rocky. So rocky week that ended on a high note. Stocks rallied Monday after the prior week's decline. Tech shares led with NASDAQ posting best day since November. Great to see that, primarily because of rates coming down. Uh, tech stocks tend to be very uh, sensitive to rates. They're capital intensive. They need money, so uh, rates affect them. So it tends to be a bullish sign when rates go down. So uh, Tuesday, stocks tumbled but recovered. Most of their losses late in the ses session. Stocks rally Wednesday ahead of inflation news. Uh, stocks fell Thursday in response to a hot inflation report reflecting concerns about timing, certainty, and extent of, of the cuts coming later this year. Consensus is still that it's going to happen uh, in terms of rate cuts, but uh, they create a little bit more uncertainty around it. So uh, Friday, the start of earnings season brought mixed results from a handful of major banks. Wells Fargo got hit kind of hard, wasn't their best uh, report. So by close, stocks had recovered most of their losses, ending the week with solid gains. So good to see that. Tale of two inflation reports. So we had a lot going on here. There were conflicting kind of inflation reports here. So the biggest economic news was fresh inflation data. CPI, headline CPI rose just a smidge, 3.3 uh, over the prior month and 3.4% compared with last year. That number was higher than the 3.2 increase econo economists expected and a few ticks elevated from the 3.1% in November. But core CPI, here's where it gets interesting. This is the one that excludes volatile food and energy, which is the one that the Fed tends to focus on, rose 3.9, which is a decrease from November. So it actually take down. Friday, the PPI, producer price index, measures uh, inflation by domestic producers. Fed also pays great attention to this. Should a drop uh, 0.1 for December? possibly suggesting that headline CPI's uptick may have been an anomaly. So again, that was kind of the silver lining here. Uh, so what's on deck for this week? So key economic data, Tuesday, Empire State Manufacturing, Wednesday, retail sales, industrial production, Thursday, jobless claims, housing stars, petroleum status report, Friday, existing home sales, uh, companies reporting earnings. This is, we're smack dab in earnings season now, so we see a lot of this. Tuesday, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Interactive. Wednesday is the Charles Schwab Corporation, Bancor. Thursday is M&T Bank, Northern Trust. Friday is Schlumberger Limited, Travelers, and State Street. A lot of financials this week, uh, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. Uh, as always, guys, we will report back to you next week on what occurs this week. Uh, here's all of our contact information, should you need to get a hold of us. 
We're always here to talk to you, whether you're a client or not. Uh, give us a ring or contact us through any of these methods. We'd love to talk to you. Also, hit that subscribe button down there if you like getting investment content, market content, financial planning content. We'd love to have you as a viewer. So hit us up on YouTube. Uh, okay, guys, have a great week, and I will talk to you soon.